about to get started here and our pitcher tonight Edward Cabrera well you know this guy wants to be better than that I mean the ERA is bloated he understands that he's got to put his team in a better position to win ball games and at this point you have to forget about your own individual stats and you have to go out there and attack and try to get that W and if you do that you'll look up and most likely that ERA will have dropped over time ground ball right side gathers and throws to first one up one down now the Diamondbacks lineup as put together by Tori Lovello this has been a good productive lineup so far this year currently ranking among the better teams in terms of total hits and runs per game well you know this lineup sees it as very important to put the ball in play Boog I mean this is an age where strikeouts are up so high and guys are swinging and missing going for the fences but you can increase that contact rate you can be a dangerous club you get more guys on base and then all of a sudden when that big swing comes through you're plating more runs so we'll see if this pitcher can get some soft contact let the defense work behind it and there's a hit so a man aboard now with one away couldn't have timed it up any better than that really good swing that right there you got a pitch that he no knew he could here. handle allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer and he hit the ball on the screws and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first Lourdes Goriel Jr. in the box with one away as he takes ball one Cabrera in his second season 25 years old and he was born in the Dominican Republic Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A massive home run. Home run number 15 on the year. The Diamondbacks score first. It's 2 0. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. One out, base is empty. Here's Josh Bell. Hit in the air, center field. Berger moving under this one. Makes the grab, two down. That is it. the designated hitter. Two Jay outs, base is empty. McCarthy. And next is the Diamondbacks DH, Jake McCarthy. Whoa, Missed with a changeup. One and oh. That one catches the corner for a strike. Two outs, base is empty. In the air, right field, sizes this one up, makes the catch in and over. D backs at a pair on the homer. It's now a 2 0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Miami, and today's starter, Merrill Kelly. And Chris, pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him. Yeah, and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road. Sometimes, you know, it's just a matter of luck. It's not having a feel. Difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field. Don't know what it is, but I know this. He's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home. So we'll see what he's able to do in this one. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. And that's in the dirt. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take.
Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. The line to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Got one away on the strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now at the plate, Jake Berger. One out, base is empty. Kicks and fires. Ball, that's just out. Yeah, they'll do it again. And that one upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They got him working hard out there. Bounce to the right. Tosses to first. Got him. And time now for the Marlins lineup. An offense that emphasizes a patient approach and controlling the strike zone, and they do it better than anyone. Right now, the top on base percentage in the league. And the frustration that can cause for the opposing pitcher, the opposing staff, because you're not going to go through these hitters quickly. They're going to be lengthy at bats. They're going to foul off pitches and many times end up taking a close pitch for ball four that that pitcher maybe thought was a third strike. So, you know, teams like this, they can be really good in the long haul. You don't expect just the short stints and explosive innings, but over the course of nine innings, you look up and they usually have one more run than you do. The one one is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the righty deals. And another ball. Two outs. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Now he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. Offense held a check there. Second inning coming up here in South Florida. It's the Diamondbacks two and the Marlins nothing. here at Lone Depot Park. Second inning set to go. Randall Grichik now. The pitch. Ball one there. Ball one, no strikes. Slow roller to third. Lead off man retired here in the second. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Breaking ball through there for a strike. All one's the count. One down, base is empty. Next offering misses down and away. Right. 
Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, and that's a double. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. One out, runner at second. Adrian Del Castillo stands in now for the Diamondbacks. In the air, left field. Tracks it down for the out. Two away. The first baseman, Kevin Newman. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Right through there for a strike. Well, I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may not have another runner in scoring position the rest of this ball game. On the ground to third, and that should be extra bases. Around third, and that rolls into the corner. He'll score easily, and they lead by three. Newman into second, and he's got a double. Picks himself up in RBI, turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So back to the top of the Arizona lineup at the play. Geraldo Perdomo. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Man on second, two down. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Fires across the diamond. They limit the damage here, but a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 3-0. Back after this on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. Kelly back to work. Pass ball for a strike. 0-1. A 3-0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. Line drive. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now here is Derek Hill. Check swing on the first pitch. Appeal down to first. Did not go. At the belt and fires. He was late there, strike one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. The Fish trailing by three. Bottom half of inning number two. That one to first. Slings to second, on to first, double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. And now for the Marlins, Emmanuel Rivera. And first offering is fouled off. the bat going too soon it's strike two this guy's not wasting any pitches hitters 
Got to get in the swing mode. This is a good time to. Now nah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. And we're back. Top half of the third inning. This is Corbin Carroll. And the right hander back to work. Corbin Carroll yep. was an easy choice for Rookie of the Year in 2023. Voters made him the unanimous choice after he put together a consistent season that took a lot of drama away from the announcement. The world of baseball knew he was going to win it. Left hand hitter waits. Wouldn't chase that time. And Boo, Carroll deserved the award, no doubt about that. At 22 years old, he had 54 steals and led the league with 10 triples. Made an immediate impact for Arizona and helped lead him to the World Series out of nowhere. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. He's already homered here in this one. pitch and a swing and a line drive at a right field Sanchez makes the grab and there's two down up next to the Diamondbacks the second baseman John two outs bases Bell. empty Josh Bell stands in now for the Diamondbacks all for one with a fly out to center pitch is in there that's strike one Started to go after it. Now we'll look down to third, and he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. Two down, nobody on. And a base hit. Everything came together for him. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Jake McCarthy stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Fly to right his first time. Just missed. There's a strike up high, and it's one and one. Next oh, offering is outside. The pitch. Fought off foul. Y'all, well, this is a good time to step out of the box, take a deep breath, reset. A couple of change-ups. Probably won't see another one here. Cold strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. So one hit is all they get. We head down to the home half of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Marlins nothing. Set for the bottom of the third. Now the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. The pitch. And that one's a little bit low. Ball one. Fastball one right one. by him, Two slightly three. elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. Three. See if he continues to climb the ladder. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. No, just couldn't Gotta pull the trigger on the fastball the right there, and I don't think he was yeah. taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Otto Lopez stands in now and watches strike one. And he deals. Yeah, and that skips in the dirt. That one That's missed. Walter. 
He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Back there. That's not coming back. He sends a rocket to left. It's 3-1. He just sent this stadium into a frenzy. They're going nuts. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Nick Fortes will hit next. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. One. One. And ball one. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the last half of the third. Next offering is fouled back. Righty to the plate. And ball another two. ball. Three Wouldn't ball, chase that three. time. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. The punch out there. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be oh, mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. That's your job. Back to the top of the lineup, Xavier Edwards. The next up for the Marlins. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. <laughs> On the ground to third. Zips it to oh. first. That ends the frame. Marlins get a bit closer on this homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Lone Depot Park. Start of the fourth. Here's the center fielder, Randall Gritchick. As he turns on the rubber, and with that live arm delivers. Gritchick measures six feet, two inches, 215 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Next pitch is outside. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2 0, he's put himself in a really good spot. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. That pitch gets the inside corner. It's 2 and 2. And that's downstairs and outside. And a swing and a miss. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. A. Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. Doubled his first time up. Right through there for a strike. All ones the count. Now this is in the air down the line. He's got it. There's two away. The batter, the catcher, Adrian. Now up next for Arizona, Del Adrian Del Castillo. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Yeah. And strike one to the catcher. Yeah. 
in the air right side of the infield Lopez sizing this one up and that'll do it Diamondbacks down quickly but they still lead it 3 1. Bottom four and at the plate for Miami Jake Berger this kid picked up in a trade a lot was offered and given to get him but he's got a real high ceiling Kelly back to work up and in ball one you know these Marlins showing great discipline at the plate and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one he's only given up one run but the starters pitch count is starting to get up there and that might be the best news yet for this offense righty delivers and that's off the inside edge and it's two and one. And a foul ball. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. And a pitch. Left field. Guriel has it sized up. Puts it away for the out. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front That's shoulder good. coming open instead of staying no, closed. Big, if he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle no. the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That's the ball. Count one and oh. The wind of the pitch. Pass hey. ball for a strike. One and one. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. The one two. Just off the inside edge. Just missing there. Full count now. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And that's too high. Ball four. The right fielder. Now it's the right fielder, Jesus Sanchez. One for one with a single so far. First pitch misses. Man at first, one away. One one now. And ball another ball. ball. ball two. And delivers outside. Kicks and deals. Laced into left. That's a base hit. They fired in quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Derek Hill, the next up for the Marlins. He hit into a double play his first time up. That one's in there, 0-1. 0-1. Runners at first and second with one gone. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two on, one out. Not one even close there. And it's one and two.
Bounce to third. To second, that's one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first, and that's the way to end the inning. Here in Miami, top five, John Shelby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Kevin Newman. The right hander back to work. Just missed. And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. The wind to kick the 2 0. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2 0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Next offering in there for a strike. Two and two. And down on strikes. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. So the batting order the batting turns over. Two. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Geraldo Perdomo. Perdomo. Liner snagged it first. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Corby Carroll swings it now. Good power, and he's homered off some really big names early in his career. Yeah, Boog, his first home run was against Hugh Darvish. He also got to Clayton Kershaw and Max Scherzer shortly after. It's easy to gain confidence when you're having success against the biggest names in the sport. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. One Way ball, upstairs, and the count is one and two. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Chases the changeup in the dirt. And it's in time for the third out, so that'll end the inning. Nothing across here this half. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Marlins one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's going to be Emmanuel Rivera. Emmanuel Rivera. The pitch. And a strike. Well, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Guriel snags it on the run. The batter, no left fielder. Kyle Stowers, the next up for the Marlins. Struck out looking at his first at bat. And there's a ball. The Marlins trailing by two. Last half of inning number five. Pitch misses. And that's ball two. Probably looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. In the air, left side. Guriel handles the chance. Now back, the second baseman. And up next for Miami, Otto Lopez. He's already homered in this game. That's inside. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. 
and see who wins. One ball, two strikes. Ripped in the right center, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. He was all over that one. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Fortes takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Two outs. Inside, just missed. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. And that's in for a strike. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the right hater deals. Swing and a pop up under it. And the inning is over. One hit, one left. Five innings complete. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Marlins one. And we're back. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a tapper. Throws the first yeah. in time. Barely got him for the out. Close play. And now the switch hitting first baseman Josh Bell. First pitch just misses. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 71, the rookie right hander, is getting loose. Number 66, also throwing. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball. Base is empty, Three one strikes. away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Three. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Oh, Good two-strike pitch right there. Yeah, At yeah. worst-case scenario, yeah. it's weak contact McCarthy. in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Next to hit for Arizona, Jake McCarthy. His July and August splits there. Ball one, one there. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Line drive, base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Now batting, the center fielder, Randall Grichik. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Randall Grichik. He's been a Great free agent side. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Could be extra bases. McCarthy, round second on his way to third. Coming home. He scores. It's 4 1. 
Well done. Drives in the run. This is why hitters work so hard on driving the ball gap to gap in batting practice. There's a lot of room out there. If you can rip one into that open space, it usually means extra bases. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Edward Cabrera gives way, just never found his groove, wasn't able to settle in. New arm coming on, back in a moment. So out of the pen comes the right-hander, number 71. Well, home runs have been a problem this year. Not doing a great job keeping the ball in the yard so far this season, so we'll see if that factors in. Now the third baseman, A. Eugenio Suarez, one for two. Hey. And clips a corner. Oh, Man at second. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. That's a ball. Bounce to the left side. Edwards. To first. Oh. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. d backs with a run scoring double. It's now 4 1. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. of the sixth inning and now Xavier Edwards and here it comes and that one just misses a ball and no strikes action in the pen down there Ryan Thompson up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello Puck the lefty warming up as well the 1-0 and that one is lifted in the air. Gritchick sizing it up. He's got it. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this. And when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Jake Berger digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. Good eye right there. The fish trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Next hey. offering in there for a strike. One ball. That is strike two. Backed off the plate that time. it by him for the K. Good horizontal movement on that curveball right there and just enough to get him to chase it. He placed it just off First the corner base. and that's one of those where a pitcher says if he's going to miss he's going to miss oh. off the plate. So really good job. Great pitch for the punch out. Right. Nope. Up for ball the one. third time and takes ball one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. He's painting the corners, working on the edges, and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Newman to first in time. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Nothing doing for the Marlins, and they trail it 4-1. Top of inning number seven. Now the D-backs catcher, Adrian Del Castillo. Hey. 
The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Well, these Diamondbacks putting together some really good at-bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. One thing is they haven't oh, been fooled all that much. Six of their hits have come off off-speed pitches. Here comes a pitch. That one hit to right. One down. And that success against off-speed pitches tells me they're doing a great job of seeing the now ball deep, letting the, the ball travel, and then just Kevin trying to use the whole field. Newman. Now up next for Arizona, Kevin Newman. And first offering is fouled off. And that's in for a strike. No ball, two strikes. And ball. downstairs. One ball, two strikes, the count. Here we go. And ball now two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Outside, and that is ball four. The batter. Now two. it's the shortstop, shortstop. Geraldo Perdomo. Geraldo. Outfield playing Perdomo. pretty shallow. Just nope. missed. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. I got one ball, one strike. The one one is fouled off. up left side settles under this one pulls it in for the out and there are two down up next to the diamond back, the right fielder Corbin Carroll. now the number two hitter Corbin Carroll one for three And first offering is fouled off. And one ball, ball one. Strike. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left-hand batter waits. Into center and a base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been oh, called a strike, good. but he did well, such a nice good. job of pulling his hands tight to the body and oh, yeah. just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Here's Guriel, and it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. That yeah. clips the inside corner for a strike. Some hitters are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. The D-backs trying to break this one open here in the top half of inning number seven. This one high in the air to left center. Sizes this one up. He makes the grab, and that'll do it. Diamondbacks strand a pair, but they lead it four to one.
We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Ryan Thompson. He has a great slider with tons of movement. Number 81. Stepping in, Jesus Sanchez. The Marlins in striking distance, but have some work to do. Boog, it starts with the leadoff, man. I need a good at bat out of him right here. The pitch. In the air, right field. Pretty well struck. Carroll ranges back. Pulls it in on the warning track. He was all over that first pitch fastball. But just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Next is the designated hitter, Derek Hill. Thompson goes six feet five inches, 31 years old, a former first round pick back in 2018. Outside low, and that's ball one. One down, base is empty. And now two and nothing. Right hander kicks deals. Ball inside. And a four pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, Boo. The last one wasn't even close. So digging in, Emmanuel Rivera. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. The Diamondbacks leading by three. Here, the bottom of the seven. And that's outside, and it's one and one. Right through there for a strike. Next offering is down low. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher, but if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Here's the left fielder, Kyle Stowers. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. At the belt and fires. Foul ball there. Thompson checks on no, first, he's and he's back safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Going two now. In the air, right field. Carroll moves towards it. He's got it. And that ends the inning. So it's no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left. We look ahead to inning number eight. 
It's the Diamondbacks four and the Marlins one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 66. Just trying to keep this one close here and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Josh Bell at the plate now. Well both sides equally as strong. So not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. And the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's one and one. Right-handed reliever. So a foul ball makes it one and two. High fly ball down the left field line. And that's a fair ball. Up next for the and here is Jake McCarthy. Jake McCarthy. First oh, wow. offering, and it just misses. And the righty deals. Ground ball could be two. Off balance feed, there's one, but safe at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now back, the seventh fielder, Randall Gritchick. Randall Gritchick stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Eight. Out to short. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And no shot to get him at first. There's two aboard. So first and second with one gone. Next to hit, A. Eugenio Suarez. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Next Doing offering way off the plate. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. One out. Runners at first and second. That's a strike. And it's two and one. Way out front for strike two. And that's a little high. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Man, I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call. He probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus. And he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Next to hit for Arizona, Adrian Del Castillo. Right, 
That's in there. That's strike one. And a good eye there. The D-backs trying to break this one open. And we're in the top of the eighth. Oh, and the ball awesome. evens the count. And a pitch. On the ground right side. That's out number three. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Dylan Floro gets an opportunity to square off against his former team so I wouldn't be surprised if he came out a little extra jacked up right here and now for the Marlins Otto Lopez the second baseman Otto Lopez the why to kick the pitch and yep, that's outside. Ground ball right side. Oh, and that's just foul. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Fortes, the next to hit, takes outside. The Diamondbacks leading by three here the bottom half of the eighth inning. That clips the corner. Kicks and deals. And another ball. Inside oh, just missed. Righty delivers. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That one hurts right there as they couldn't take care of the bottom of the order to start this inning. You turn the lineup over. Now this inning's set up to be something big for this offense. Laser, base hit, runner around third on his way to the plate. He'll score, and it's 4-2. Big RBI for him right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Now that sets up a huge at-bat in this ball game. First and second, no outs. And at the plate for Miami, Jake Berger. That misses, nope. and the count is 2-0. Oh. So the tying run at second. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Justin Martinez up and throwing for manager Tori Lovello. 
Ginkle getting cranked up as well. Down the line, and it's foul. Swings and misses. And it's three and two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And here's the first baseman, Jonah Bride. First Ball pitch, one. and he just misses. Ball one, no strike. Right through there for a strike. I got a ball, one strike. That hey. one's in there, and the count, one and two. Two on, one out, and that's down and away. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Close, but call the ball. And now it's three and two. Jesus Sanchez waiting for a turn at the plate. And that's ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Now on the mound for the Diamondbacks, Joe Mantiply. And if you dig into his walk rate, his numbers are really impressive. He's really filled up the strike zone this season, so these batters better be ready to swing the bats. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jesus Sanchez. Golden opportunity right here. A little surprised. We don't see a pinch hitter here with the lefty-lefty matchup. Ball one, no strikes. Way to lay off that pitch down. That one's in there. And the count one and one. one. Well, that's really the money spot. Down and away, if you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for hitters to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. The one one. Inside, ball two. Boog, in situations like these, the air can get really thin up there at the plate. Got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down. And another ball really been able to slow down the game tonight with his at bats and the biggest one he's had so far. He doesn't look anxious at all. That one's in there and the count's full. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Three and two now. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the... Line drive, base hit. One runs in. The throw home. In there. He's safe. It's 4-4. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. First and second, one out. And now here's the Marlins DH, Derek Hill. That nope, one missed. Ball. ball one, no fight. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. Close oh. one doesn't get the call. Ball two.
Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Swing and a miss. And the count is even two and two. On the ground right side. Four, six, three. It's a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Three runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left. Ninth inning coming up, and we are tied 4-4. Four, four. We're now back. It's the top the of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher number on the mound, 62. number 62. Sure. Well, walks have certainly been an issue for him this season, so we'll see what kind of command he has. Kevin Newman getting ready to hit. The first baseman, Kevin Newman. And he deals. That one, one not close. 1-0. and oh. The other way. And that's going to get into the corner. In safely with a leadoff double. Go ahead runs in scoring position. Well, that's how you respond. Leadoff man comes up, gets into scoring position. Now, there are several ways that they can get this run across. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Geraldo Perdomo. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0-1. His club is very happy he's at the plate in this moment. He loves hitting in these high leverage situations, and he seems to deliver the goods more often than not. The pitch. To third. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Runner around third. Here comes the throw. It's offline, and he scores. Big swing of the bat right there to give him the lead. That was clutch. He smashed that ball the other way and kept it fair down the third baseline. Did an excellent job of just throwing the barrel at the ball, even though he was a little late on it. Now here is Corbin Carroll. Popped up, and that's foul. Now the 01. And there's a ball. One ball, two strikes. In the air out towards right center. Berger under this one. And it's caught for the out. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot the hang a breaking ball right, right there. there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. Here we go. Now up next for Arizona, Lourdes Goriel Jr. Oh. Off the mark there, and it's one to know. Just okay. missed. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. And this is inside. Right. Strike on the inside corner. And that one oh, off the inside right. edge. Okay. You walked him. Now that second base. John. So first and second yeah. with one man gone. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Josh Bell. Oh, 
That one close, ruled a ball. Ball one. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Next offering in there for a strike. And one and one. The one one is fouled off. On the ground to first. Could be two. There's one. Out. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home team down a run. Major League Baseball is on the show. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Justin Martinez. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Emmanuel Rivera now at the plate, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a flyout. The wind of the pitch. That one finds the zone. And that is strike one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Guriel sizing this one up. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit. And then from there can really settle in. Stowers in the box now takes strike one. Well, a good slider from an opposite handed pitcher has to stay in that tunnel just a little bit longer. Otherwise, recognition can cause you to barrel it up. And right there, the hitter clearly couldn't do anything with it. Bows it back with two strikes. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground to short, Perdomo. Throws the first in time. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit. Hit the ball on the ground. Kill some worms while you're at it. So they're down to their final out. Otto Lopez. The next up for the Marlins. Three for three. Two singles and a homer. And the first pitch misses for ball one. There's a strike. And a pitch. And a count one and two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. That one misses. The count now two and two. The fish down to their final strike. That one way outside, and it's three and two. Big pitch coming right here. The last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. And the tying run is on base. They're not ready to go home quite yet. And now Nick Fortes. Now you got the number nine hole hitter right here looking to do whatever he can to get on base turn this lineup over so the best hitters in this lineup have a chance to tie up the ball game or maybe even walk it off. Well in this situation the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that keep the line moving to a walk or just a base hit but you've got to stay within yourself. Nope. That one a little bit high and now two and oh. And another ball. Xavier Edwards in the on-deck circle. With the tying run on at first. And the home team trying to pull it out. Next offering is in for a strike. Man, 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low-end fastball for some pitchers. Two outs. And ball four to a board. 
Well, that's a pretty significant two out walk as it moves the tying run up into scoring position. It's definitely not what you're looking for from your pitchers late in the ballgame. Back to the top of the Miami order. Xavier Edwards gets a chance to hit here. That's in there. Strike one. It's amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 2. Checks his swing. Now it appealed to third. Yes, he did. Strike three. And that's how this one comes to an end. Wow. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road. You know that you've got some work to do. you got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Very well played ball game. Get this win on the road. Everybody's happy with the W.